Hello? Is this on? I never know whether people actually watch these channel update videos, but let's find out. Welcome back guys. Today I want to talk about two things. What I want from my channel and Patreon. Hear me out, as these might be two topics that interest you. If not, I can highly recommend watching the movie Morbius. No, I'm only kidding, it's terrible. This video has much better makeup, production values and script. I started this channel as a bit of a no-nonsense approach to this hobby, to challenge the things we've all done a million times and to attempt to make your hobby money stretch way further, effectively trying to get you all a lot more for much, much less, whilst not skimping on the quality. So I launched a Patreon in secret. So secret, in fact, that no one even knew it existed, which, thinking about it, was probably not the most intelligent approach. The whole point of this channel was to save you money, and asking for a Patreon sign-up just seemed to contradict that. But in order to do bigger and better things, YouTube ad revenue isn't going to stretch. As much as I'd love to, I can't make everything out of cocktail sticks and Christmas baubles. Contrary to what I thought, YouTube ad revenue is barely enough to buy a full pack of toilet rolls, let alone a box of Necrom under floor tiles. I switched on YouTube memberships and supers when YouTube asked me to, but that was a little bit like flipping a switch in a dark room only to find out the bulb had blown. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? So there's now a few ways to support the channel, if you choose to. YouTube thanks, memberships and supers, and Patreon, which is linked in the description of this video and on my About page. A small change in little brown envelopes dropped in secret locations around the country is coming soon. I'm currently using the Patreon to distribute all the digital files I've created on the channel as PNGs and PSD, so you can download and manipulate for yourself. Things like the toxic sum, the tiles, the ink mixing charts, and a few more. More will come as we grow. I've tried to calculate the pricing tiers to balance with what I might have saved you with my tips and tricks, so it didn't feel like a massive ripoff. Effectively, one whole year will cost less than the price of a Citadel rattle can. Unless they've put the prices up again. So there you go. It's there if you fancy chatting to me better than you can in the comments on here. And I'd like to shout out Steamboat28 for being my very first patron. I recently helped him work through mixing all 24 inks on Discord. That would be those inks from that video that YouTube decided not to show you all. Okay, enough about Patreon. It's there if you're interested. You've all probably noticed that my channel splits its time between hobby tips and terrain tips. Although, let's call them terrain additions because it's more about fixing or making more from less that costs less than just doing standard terrain. I try to throw in tips into the terrain videos as much as in the hobby videos like the static grass balloon hack or rust from a rattle can, but I have noticed that in splitting these, I've split my audience. I considered merging the two, but being honest, I enjoy making videos about different things, chatting to different people in the comments, or on Reddit or Instagram, and navigating this whole YouTube thing as I go. More importantly, I like presenting things you hopefully haven't heard a million times before. New ways of looking at problems, different ways of solving issues, just a fresh perspective on the hobby stuff we grapple with every day. Having said all that, since I started my channel back in March, I haven't painted a single model. Terrain, sure, loads of it. But that's not getting me through my pile planet universe of shame. Or as I like to call it, solving the world's plastic crisis 10 sprues at a time. In fact, my own painting paralysis video and a few comments I got on that gave me the push to get this stuff done. Someone literally said, are you going to do a video on how to get over painting paralysis? And it got me thinking. I figured if I can't get my models painted because of the time taken on the YouTube video work, I'd just make the model painting part of the YouTube video work. Now, I'm no Marco Frisoni or Squidmar, but with luck I can bring the same style of tips to this as I've done with the other two. The terrain and hobby tips aren't ending by any means, they'll just be another type of content to watch. And I can enjoy making different types of content whilst continuing with the hobby that I love. What you won't see is painting an army in a weekend. Weekends are for eating, drinking, socialising, drinking and living not sitting in this room staring at countless little grey men with plastic guns. Did I say drinking twice? Yes. No, you'll probably not see me painting the latest shiny new out-of-stock Games Workshop mega box. That would just add to my huge backlog. What you will hopefully see 
is some painting where we can test out products you might not use, new techniques, and attempt to get great results in a different and more efficient way. And I'm desperate to move Slap Chop away from just black, grey and white with a gritty dry brush look. That's all we've got time for tonight. It's a good night from me, and it's a good night from him. Good night. Good night. You know only older British people are going to get this joke, right? Yeah, I know. Just checking.